All right, so let's talk about what happened here. So obviously, I crashed. Now, that was probably one of the hardest crashes I've had in quite a long time. Most of the time, it was just a little tip over. That one probably went for about 17 miles an hour to zero, just like, like that. Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> I'll be very honest with you, that hurt. Luckily, I walked away with nothing but scrapes and bruises. And so, you know, other than being sore for the next couple days after that, I'm ultimately fine. I'll be able to get back on the bike and keep riding, which is great. So what did what exactly happened here? You can't see too well in the footage just because the only footage I have is from my chest cam. So pretty much what it was, there's pretty much a rolling section in that trail I took. So I had never ridden that trail before. I'd never been to this park before. It was the first time I'd ever ridden that trail. I sent it down that trail pretty hard. That's my first mistake. I should not have sent it the first time. I should have ridden the trail to find out how it was. I've never done trails like that before. I've never ridden anything like that before. And I should have ridden it a little slower the first time and actually figured out where everything was on the trail. If I had done that, probably wouldn't have wrecked in that same spot. Essentially in that one spot, instead of it being a one kind of bump, seeing pump off of it and get some air off of it, there was actually a rolling section that was meant for more pump or to have much more speed in order to get through it. So pretty much there, I think I was about three or four rollers in a row. So instead of, Hitting the first one and landing on the landing on the downward slope of the on the back side of the next one. I hit the first one, cleared the second one, and instead hit the hit the takeoff of the third one. So I came down and I hit that. When I hit it with the front wheel, the bike wiped out to the side, slid out. I slid all down my left side and hit pretty hard. So that's pretty much what happened. Now, if I had taken it with more speed or less speed, that could have made a difference in the jump there. Now, I really don't do jumps that often because the trails around here, at least the trails I've ridden around here, don't have features like that very much. If anything, you catch a little bit of air, but that's about it. So I'm not used to it. I went after it really hard to have fun, make a cool video for you guys, of course, and ended up wrecking. Now, did it ruin my day? No, pretty much I went down. It was actually about lunchtime when it happened, about like one o'clock in the afternoon. So I was able to go down, pretty much do an inventory on myself, make sure I was okay <laughs> so I could actually get out riding. I probably took about an hour break just to, just to kind of regain everything, let the adrenaline kind of die down. My shoulder was aching quite a bit after that, so I had to make sure that I was feeling okay so I could actually get it to do anything. The only reason is about here. So I had to make sure I could actually move that and had full rotation again on my shoulder, which was important and then ultimately make sure that I could actually get on a ride with my bike again. So thankfully, after about an hour of having lunch and just kind of chilling and relaxing for a minute, I was able to get back on the bike, do more riding. I actually went to the pump track first. So that's the biggest thing is when you do get hurt and you crash, don't go send it off the biggest thing right off the bat. Make sure you try something a little smaller, a little bit easier. That way you can make sure that you're actually feeling up to it. So I did I don't know, probably like 20 laps on the pump track just to make sure that I could actually actually felt confident again on the bike. I wasn't going to just like wreck out the first time I went, went riding on a downhill trail. So I did the pump track and then I went to kind of a smaller little loop trail I did at the beginning, hit that going downhill. Definitely didn't feel like 100% on it, but I had enough fun that it was good. I didn't end my day of riding on my crash, thankfully. That was not the end of my day of riding. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I will have the full video from that, that mountain bike festival coming up. Should be coming next week. So that should be coming up. Look forward to, you guys should be looking forward to that. That is an awesome video. Again, that was a Sky Tavern. If you have not been to Sky Tavern, check it out. Awesome riding there. And if you learned anything from this video is that crashing is not a bad thing on your bike. Crashing is a way of learning. If you can learn from your crash and learn what to do next time to not crash or to improve your riding, you're doing a good thing. So. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.